I've just learned that variables ignore transactions in SQL. Look, I'll show you what I mean. If I declare my real life bank account amount and I want to times it by 10 because I'm an absolute baller and then I select the amount, what do you think it returns? 100. Clearly. Easy peasy. Look at that. Now I've got 10 times the amount of money in my bank. If I want to do this in a transaction because I'm being really careful. I declare my bank account amount. Begin the transaction. I do the sum. I commit the change. Amazing. I've still got a hundred pounds in my account. But what if I've made a mistake? What if I what if I didn't want to times it by ten? I only wanted to give myself ten. If I roll back, I still get a hundred. The usage of the variable inside the transaction, even with a rollback, means absolutely nothing. Be careful when doing this in SQL. If you want to learn more about all things data, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Listen to the SQL Squared podcast.